I ate this and I made this. And in this video I'll show you the design process I went through to design it. It's very similar to Sudoku. Uh, you've got limitations and then you work through one limitation then you have another limitation. And in this case of course the first limitation is the size of the can. So what we'll do, I'll just draw the can so we can start the design. So the can. The big limitation of the can is how shallow it is. Now I decided to make it with flapping fish. Uh, so first of all we need the fish. Now the can is quite narrow, quite shallow, so the fish needs to be towards the top. So we could probably put the fish there and it would flap by having a cam underneath. The problem is sardines are pretty well known uh, for being fairly packed in so it wouldn't be realistic for the sardine to flap and go into the can so this isn't a very good solution really and we need a different solution. Uh, one could be to pin it at the end so that then it doesn't go in it flaps up but then it looks rather like a leaping salmon rather than a sardine in a tin and still isn't very uh, satisfactory. So thinking about that I decided that we needed a jointed fish in the middle so just put that in. So now we've got a fish that has a joint so both sides will flack up, flap up. Big problem already that we've come is that now of course the both sides are going to just flop down. So we need some way of keeping them horizontal when it's not moving. So what we need is a platform in there. So just put that across there. Let's put it so and so. So now the fish can't go down. So now we've got to decide on how we're going to move the fish. Now we could just put a cam underneath, but then we need two cams, because one cam to lift that up and down, and one cam to lift that side up and down, the tail up and down. That's not that easy in a small can. So uh, I had to think of another solution. The solution I thought of is to put a cam follower underneath. This has got the advantage now that it can push up and push that side up or it can push up and push the other side up and that would fly flat. Now we have another problem because okay we can push that side up and that pushes but we're only pushing on one side now with the cam so when this comes down there's no force to push the tail up. You need a force so we need to I think the solution I came up with is to put a counterweight on it. So let's move the next one in. So then I made a cam follow with a counterweight. And now when the cam pushes it up that side of the fish will go up. You'll note that we're limited again by this counterweight not hitting the top and the bottom. And when the cam comes down the counterweight pushes that side up and so the fish moves. So now we've got the movement. Now we just need to decide the cam. And again we've got some limitations now. What we do know is that when the fish is flat the cam follower has to be flat. So we know now that the middle position would be... So, so that's a flat position. Then we need it to raise. So we know when it raises, that has to go up. So now we have how far up now then? The positioning of the cam has to be so that when the highest point in the cam comes round, it doesn't hit the bottom. So we know we know the maximum size of the cam. We know it takes that distance to push it up. So it must take the same distance the other way, push it down. So now we have the inner circle of the cam and now it's quite simple to decide the cam because we know we need a high point to push it up, we need a middle point which we know is there to keep it flat and we need a low point which would be here for when it goes down and then all should be well. Let's have a look. So, 
that's the middle point as you see we're a little bit uh, and if you look at the video it doesn't I made a video on actually how to make it and uh, I came with this situation where the, the cam follower isn't actually touching so what I did I put shims in you can put little bits of wood underneath to bring that down level so then you've got it exactly level and then when the cam goes round it pushes it up and that side of the fish goes up when the cam comes there it comes down again and then when the cam comes round to the bottom this comes down and pushes that side up and then we have it three sardines in a tin Thanks for watching. You can uh, see the video on how to actually make this and make it yourself and download the uh, drawings in a video which I'll uh, put at the end. Cheers.